Good morning folks, this is Paul Campbell for MakeCNCWorkshops.com. Today I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to use the MakeCNC Scale Calculator program. This program is available on our website for a nominal fee and is a very handy program to use when you're trying to make the calculations to rescale drawings. And the reason that you need to rescale drawings, patterns from us or anybody else really for that matter, is when you go to a supplier and you buy yourself, say, a sheet of Baltic birch plywood and they tell you that it's one-eighth of an inch, it probably isn't one-eighth of an inch. And all our patterns come set to specific slot sizes so that all the slots are the same. So... If you just come in here and use the measure tool in Vectric and we zoom into the leg of this butterfly pattern, you'll see that if we measure the slot size here, we're looking at 0.125, which is one eighth of an inch. Okay, so all of the slots and tabs in this drawing are going to be set to one eighth of an inch. But lo, we go and measure our actual material thickness and it says 0.128, so it's a little bit larger. Or maybe it's going to be a little bit smaller, 0.123. Either way, if you cut out the, the pattern as it stands using that thickness of material, you're going to end up with parts that are either too large or too small, so your project won't fit together properly. So you need to be able to scale that drawing up or down to suit the material thickness that you've got from your supplier. Once you have that figured out, then it's a very quick and easy calculation all the time to make uh, patterns using that same batch of material. One rule of thumb I'd always do though, and that is no matter how good you think you've scaled something or got everything right, always cut a couple of parts first to make sure that you're getting a good fit before you go cutting out hundreds of parts and wasting lots of material. All right, now the reason I'm making a separate uh, video here for the Vectric software as opposed to the one I'll do for Corel Draw and uh, Inkscape, etc., is because Vectric uses uh, its own special way of dealing with size, and you'll see that in a moment. And the, the calculator takes that into account. Another thing I should mention before I go too far much further is this new addition to our calculator, which is Laser Curve. And the reason that we've got that in there is because when you machine using a CNC router, the tool that you're using to machine around the outside of your drawing, the edge of the tool machines along the edge outside edge of the vector. So if you were cutting a 4 inch by 4 inch uh, square piece of wood, and you create your tool path, and it machines that out, when, you, when you're finished, you're going to have a 4 inch by 4 inch piece of wood if you measure it. If you did the same thing with a laser, uh, you're going to end up with a piece that's smaller than four inches by four inches because instead of machining or cutting along the outside of the vector line a laser cuts with the line in the center of the beam so you need to offset or adjust what is called the curve by half the width of that beam then that may seem like a very small amount but in actual fact it compounds into causing quite a quite a large discrepancy in the part size when you're finished if you don't take it into account and that's also going to be the case using plasma machines so this little uh, addition to the calculator is very handy to take that into account when you create your calculation to get your final measurement size so back to what we were talking about with the Vectric, uh, the Vectric software. So what we're going to do right now is go, okay, we know our, our uh, initial size, which is the pattern size, is 0.1250. Okay, I'll take that zero out there. And we know that our new material thickness is going to be 0.1280. That brings us up to the right size for the thickness of the material that we bought from our supplier. Now here's where it's a little different for Vectra. Here it says width x of vectors to be scaled. And by the way, I've got everything set to inch because I'm dealing with inch. If you were dealing with metric, you would have everything set to metric. If we come over, close out of here, if we come over to uh, transform objects in Vectric and we hover over that, we'll see it says select, set select into object size. Okay, so we're going to we'll do that, and then what we need to do next then is select all of the objects in the pattern. When we do that, a bunch of information appears in this box. Now, we need to go in, and we need to select the width x in inches, 
we need to go Control C, which is copy. You can right click and copy if you like, but Control C is copy as well on the keyboard. And then we go back to our scale calculator and we're going to paste that Control V into our, we'll take that zero off, into our software. Okay, so we're ready to go. And in our case, we're going to use a router so we're not adding curve. So I hit calculate. Now, when I hit calculate, a bunch of things happen. It's given me some information for percentage increases. It's increased all other dimensions by a factor of. But specifically for the Vectric to make it easier, it says here, this is what the width X should be, which is what goes in this box. And because we've got this highlighted here, it's automatic. And this here, checked, where it says copy, it's automatically copied that value to our clipboard, which makes it very easy for us to come back over to the left here, delete out that figure, and then go Control V and paste in the new figure that we require. Then we press Apply, and our scoring, uh, sorry, drawing should be scaled up to 0.128 inches. So we'll come in here and we'll select our measure tool and we will zoom in to the leg again, do a measurement. And yes, here we are at 0.128 inches. So that's as simple as that, folks. I mean, it really is quite easy. But again, remember, as a rule of thumb, always cut a couple of parts and do a test fit first to make sure that you've got a snug, nice fit, that everything's going to go together well before you cut out a whole lot of parts and waste material, just in case you've made some sort of error in, uh, in the calculations or, or whatever. But it's fairly simple and fairly straightforward, and I will be putting up a uh, Corel Draw version of this tutorial, as well as an Inkscape version of this tutorial and an RD Works version of this tutorial in the very near future. If you have a uh, piece of drawing software that you're familiar with and that you use and you would like a tutorial made for that software in our scale calculator just email Julie and she'll let me know and I'll make one but other than that uh, I hope this has been helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial have a great day mm -hmm.